Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Libras. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I am outdoors today because I feel like I need to really ground and I just need to be out in the fresh air. So I'm in my backyard and that's the scenery. You know, I try to make it look a little good for you guys. So I will be using my Spellcaster's Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using Learning Tarot cards. Now, you won't be able to see everything on my table, okay, just because of my location. So, Libra, let's see what message or messages we have for you. And it's kind of windy, so I'm hoping that the wind cooperates with me. <laughs> so, let's see, darling. Let's see. Libra. Show me Libra. A little bit uncomfortable or not uncomfortable just a little different you know because i haven't been out here other than to sit on the ground to do my cards before so let's see i got bugs and everything all the nature is around me. so libra So Libra, this is for you. We got the Two of Cups. Ooh, that's a mutual attraction. That's, um, both of you feel the same way about each other. It's some type of partnership, a very nice partnership. We got the Ten of Swords, but something happened there and it seemed like it finished, it was over. So something ended, that's the Ten of Swords. And then we got the Knight of Pentacles. You feel like something is taking a long time coming you need to be patient okay babies we got the six of wands no matter what you will be successful and victorious in whatever it is that you're doing we got the high priestess babies you need to use your intuition it's your gift you need to use it you know that feeling that you get here listen to that feeling don't listen here listen here <laughs> at least that's the way i can that's the only way i can explain it uh, we got the page of cups open up your heart use your intuition there's something here being called for you to use your intuition okay we got the five of swords the five of swords is about conflict you don't have to partake in any conflict okay baby babies and now we got the page of wands the page of wands is about good news so whatever it seems like it's just a little up and down but nothing like horrible so far you know, I mean, life is up and down. You know what I mean? One minute we have it good and then next minute we get a bump in the road. But what's important is, is that we overcome these things, you know? So we got the Page of Wands and the Page of Wands is about receiving good news. Something that will make you feel enthusiastic. And if it has anything to do with your career or finances, I'm sure that will make you feel enthusiastic. So let's clarify. We're clarifying for Libra. So I'm gonna make some room. And that noise that you're hearing, or, or that music, that's my plant wave. Um, I can't show you, can you see it? So that's the sound of my grass <laughs> in my backyard. Let me see if you can hear it better. Let me see. That's the sound of my grass. I have it connected to my grass. I should say my weeds. So what came out just now was the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. So the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands is about impulsive 
um, action, being impulsive, being passionate, okay? Um, it might also be, you might be too hasty or you might have been too hasty with something. The next thing we have is the King of Wands. And the King of Wands could be a Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius, okay? Or this is you taking charge of a situation. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. But for some reason, the situation has you feeling the mindset of lack. Now remember, we had the Ten of Swords after, so maybe you knew something was coming after this, something in regards to this partnership. So you have the Knight of Wands, you have the King of Wands, and you have the Five of Pentacles. And I have on the wrong glasses. <laughs> oh my, I was wondering why I couldn't see that well. Anyway, I see good enough, I could see you. So then we have the five of wands. So it was some kind of conflict that happened here. It might have had, maybe, maybe there was a misunderstanding with communication. I got the five of wands, I got the ace of swords. Now the ace of swords is also about mental clarity. So maybe this conflict that you had brought you some clarity. Because the next card we got is the wheel of fortune. Now mind you, this is all past energy, okay? And the wheel of fortune is about good luck, destiny, chance, your delays are over, things are starting to move forward in a good way. So a lot of times when we have endings, you know, at the moment, we can't see these endings because we, our heart is in so much pain. So you gotta take some time to heal your heart. And once you do that, you will see things change, okay babies? Take your time and then you will start feeling relief from that ending. You really will. So then we got the Knight of Pentacles that fell out. We got the Six of Swords and we have the Ten of Cups. So whatever took place here in the past, it seems like you came into something prosperous. There's prosperity, which is the Ace of Pentacles. It's about a new beginning, uh, possibly a new financial beginning. Maybe that opportunity that you were waiting for, that promotion, that raise. Or maybe something brand new, you know, something you were thinking about creating. Things are starting to calm down in your environment. We got the Six of Swords and then we got the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is about marriage and it's about happiness, okay? Family, joy, homecomings. So things are starting to calm down where the family is concerned. And this is past energy. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups. And we have the Six of Wands. Now on top of the Six of Wands, we have the Fool, we have the Seven of Wands, and we have the Four of Swords. So what this is telling me is that you have a new beginning, maybe something new starting over with the family, you know? But there is something new here for you. Um, it's a brand new beginning. It's time to emb embark on a brand new beginning. Whatever challenges you were facing, you are above them, darlings. Don't you ever doubt that. Just look over your shoulder and you will see how many things you have overcome in your life. And then we have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is either recovering, recuperating from the past, whatever may made you feel the mindset of lack and whatever ending there was. So you're overcoming it and you also may be resting because you might have a little fear and anxiety, okay? What I advise you to do is do what I'm doing right now. Come outside. I, my table is on top of a white cotton cloth. My feet are bare and they're on the ground. And I'm just out here, just enjoying fresh air, as fresh as it can get instead of being stuck in the house, you know? So you have the Fool, you have the Seven of Wands, and you have the Four of Swords on top of the Six of Wands. Now you got being called to use your intuition. Your intuition in regards to this, um, you, this news that you're going to be receiving. This news is about abundance here. It's, we got the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is about good news. It could be good news in material matters. It could be finances. 
Um, then we have the Empress, and the Empress is abundant. You know, it talks about pregnancy, fertility, motherhood. You know, it's about abundance, it's bringing forth abundance. And then we got the King of Cups, and the King of Cups could be saying that you're emotion feeling emotionally balanced now because, you know, everything is starting to calm down. Or this could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio within your environment that's bringing in this energy to you. You have the Page of Pentacles, you have the Empress, and you have the King of Cups. And then we got the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups again is about opening your heart and paying attention to your intuition. Use your intuition. You have that gift. You're going to need to use your intuition, okay? You feel already, you can already feel that it feels a little shaky, that something is coming. As good as it seems right now, you have this feeling of dread. So we got the tower, and the tower is like a moment of chaos. It, always remember that when things break down, when we get these chaotic moments, it's only to make us stronger. It's to teach us things, okay? I mean, it's not just a coincidence that crap happens. You know, these are things that we were meant to go through and things that we're supposed to learn from and things we need to remember. So you got the tower, so there's going to be a moment of chaos and confusion. But no matter what, Libra, you are resilient. You are resilient. You get up every time. You don't ever stay down. Remember, you are the peacemaker. You are the weight scales. So you stay balanced, okay, babies? It's very important that you stay balanced. And then you got the hermit. And one of the ways to stay balanced is coming outside, also going within, doing some meditation, some soul searching, and looking within you, and finding and taking care of all the things that have been worrying you and things that you've been carrying for so long. It's time to let go of them, okay? So you can be open to new beginnings. So we have the tower, we have the nine of wands, and we have the hermit. On top of the page of cups, you already know this moment is coming. You feel it. And then you have the five of swords. And the five of swords is conflict. On top of the five of swords, we have the eight of pentacles. We got the king of pentacles and we have the world. Now, the eight of pentacles is about you being patient. Now, you might be self-employed or starting a new job here. You're very focused on it. You're really paying attention, you know? You're building it, and it's working. You have a good reputation. So don't you worry, okay, baby? Stop the worries. Worries bring worries. And then you got the King of Pentacles. Now, I don't know if this is an Earth energy in your environment. Um, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Or oh, babies, let me tell you, maybe you just magical as ever. Because anything you're touching right now will turn to gold. It will multiply. And then you got the world. And the world is about successful completion. So you have the Eight of Pentacles. You got the King of Pentacles. And you have the World card. And then we have the Page of Wands. On top of the Page of Wands, we got the Eight of Wands which is something coming really fast, action. We got the two of wands, which you need to make a choice. And we got the page of wands. Now the page of wands is good news again. So no matter what is going on, you are gonna be receiving good news. And it's coming really fast towards you. You're gonna have to make a choice, okay, Libra? So you have the eight of sword, the eight of wands, you got the two of wands, and you have the page of wands. Good news coming in. Maybe somebody might be trying to sell you something that you really would like. So on top of the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles to me is like the universe has their hands in whatever it is that you're working on. So there's nothing you can do about it, okay? Once she has her hands in it, it's going to work, okay? She's saying that everything is going to move forward and you're going to come into everything you're working on, okay? So this is building. So the Three of Pentacles, the top of the Three of Pentacles, we got the Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands is a very courageous energy. So maybe you have that kind of energy and I don't doubt that you do. Uh, it could also be a Leo, a Aries or a Sagittarius. Now we did have the King of Wands in the past that gave you the mindset of lack. So this might be the same energy. The next card was the Air, was the was the Aries was the Emperor who signifies Aries so I'm not sure this energy possibly may be an Aries energy 
And then we got the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is you, Libra. Or it could be another air energy in your environment. A Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. I had a brain cramp there. But whatever it is, it seems like some real stable energy here. You're going to be truthful about something, maybe. That could also be what the King of Swords means. Um, you're very structured. You have a routine. You're intelligent. You're rational. You're logical. And then with the Emperor there, you are stable. And the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands might be somebody in your environment. This is a good... This person has good business sense, okay? Now, this could all be describing you. So... You got the Queen of Wands, you got the Emperor, and you have the King of Swords. And then, we got the Nine of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you this right now, okay, Libra? Stop worrying. Whatever it is that is on your mind, whatever it is that keeps playing over and over in your head, stop. Take a minute. If it's more than one thing, get a piece of paper and make two columns. In those columns, write all your problems down. Write down the ones you can solve and write down the ones you can't solve. The ones you can solve, solve them. And the ones you can't solve, throw them away. Okay? So don't do that to yourself because it's giving you a feeling of great sadness. Now, I don't know if it's because of the ending that happened in the past, okay, that you're still holding on to. But darlings, forgive yourself, okay, babies? Forgive you. It's okay. I mean, we all have get our hearts broken at one point or another. It's not your fault and you didn't do anything wrong. It just was meant to be. This was the way it was supposed to be. This energy came into your environment to teach you something, okay? And then we got the Ten of Pentacles. And what the Ten of Pentacles is telling me, that no matter what you're going through, babies, you are going to overcome it. And you are coming into something beautiful and abundant. This is unexpected. Okay, so all these worries are going to go away. You have the Nine of Swords, the Five of Cups, and you have the Ten of Pentacles. And with that there, darlings, I'm going to leave you there. I love you. I don't see anything terrible. I do see, you know, some ups and downs, but it's nothing that you can't overcome. And you will overcome. I love you dearly, and we definitely will chat soon.